today I'm going to show you some different masking techniques and make this amazing card. The first thing, the first thing actually, is to cover your space with like plastic wrap or something like that or some newspaper. And then you've got a piece of Whisper White card stock. And make sure you burnish your edge so that it's nice and flat when you go to use it. I took some doilies. took some doilies from page five of the catalog, the seasonal catalog, and you get 24 of them for only $2.95, so it's a really great value. And I put on them a little bit of the Tombow multi-purpose adhesive. You use like the big end, dab it all around like on the edges here and in the middle set it aside and let it dry and when you do that it becomes a adhesive that's not permanent it's a removable item now so you can put it on something and take it off and you can reuse it for several cards so then we're back to the card that we have burnished so that it lays nice and flat we're going to put a doily on it and then press down those edges but not too much there we go now I have filled one of our spritzers about this far, almost completely full, almost um, say like 80% full with rubbing alcohol so that it dries very quickly. And then I put in 20 drops of Night of Navy, um, Night of Navy refill. And you can use any color that you want. I just really like that blue. And now spritzing on the cardstock. <laughs> and then you can take that item and set it aside to dry. So we're going to take that and set it aside. After only about 30 seconds, you'll be able to lift this up and take it off very easily. And as a matter of fact, I have a couple of them that I've already done here. So we're going to finish up the card. I'm going to go ahead and move this so that I have a clean area. Now I want to show you another masking technique for this You're Amazing. I use the stamp set that's called You're Amazing. It's one of my husband's favorites. Whenever he's making me a card, this tends to be the stamp set he likes. See, I don't know if he likes the elephant in there or if he likes the balloon or what. But I'm going to take some regular um, tape and I'm going to mask off what I do not want to use on my stamp because I am horrible at doing just one little area and a little bit of something right there by the G. I think I got everything. Now, I'm using a Cherry Cobbler color and again, I went to my color coach and I got the colors looking up the Night of Navy Pumpkin Pie, Cherry Cobbler, and the Knight of Navy. It's a creative combination. Love that. So I'm going to um, use a piece of Cherry Cobbler cardstock that I cut to an inch wide off of an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So it's 8.5 inches. Doesn't really matter there. I'm going to use the Versamark, or you could always use the Cherry Cobbler, whichever one you want. And I'm going to ink up that pad ink up that stamp. Then I'm going to remove the tape that I put on there. Alright, so the only thing that's inked up there are the words that I want. So I'm just going to lay my inch piece right across. And rub it. How amazing is that? All the words ready to go and only what I wanted to have on there. Then I have a piece of that pumpkin pie that I punched out using the scallop border punch. I'm going to use some snail and adhere it to my You're Amazing. Then using the paper snips, I'm going to cut some of that off. And my good old standby 
to make the banner using a punch, a nice square punch, and I can go through both layers. Now I've got a nice banner to lay on top of this awesome card. This amazing card. <laughs> All right, using some snail, some more snail. Lay it on there. Now I want to have a little bit of a, something to help make it really pop. So I used the um, faceted designer buttons, a little bit of a glue dot. Well, not a little bit of a glue dot, an entire glue dot. <laughs> finding the glue dots on the paper and lifting them off. There. A really quick and easy amazing card with a bit of masking. So there is the masking technique and a fun card. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day.